Tour de Voir is the debut full-length album from Tour de Voir. This is a atmospheric black metal band from France, and one that is a it's a duo between Iver of Ehemans and Hunternaz, and who runs the antique label, as well as La Griche, who is in another of Iver's projects, Greel, as well as Circle de Chen. Essentially, this is an atmospheric ambient black metal sound, which is built around a glowing atmospheric production value and what I would consider epic themes, and they, they are very slow and deliberate in the way that a band like Luster is, but they are arcing in a way that a band like Runespell is. So there's it's not really obsequiae in terms of big, uh, expressive and, and, sh and chiming guitar expression, but it does reach a similar feeling in terms of atmospheric black metal that is adventurous, that is depicting something grand and not exactly modern in its, its sensation. So rather than kind of fumble through what this actually is, it's a very simple record in its effect. Uh, let's get cut to a song and get a sense for the actual sound and the atmosphere that it produces. <laughs> You know, when you're representing an ivory tower in, in the, the middle of the wilderness and, and a, a kingdom below, I think that this is an appropriate way to do so in terms of the music and in the way that it, there are these epic long-form statements that are, are very stretched, drawn out and uh, uh, softly tremolo-picked in a, a very pleasant way. There's kind of a danger of the music having no edge, and I think haunting vocals and uh, programmed drums that remind me of old summoning, it, it stops short of a march. It, it never really comes to a, an abrupt point, but there is definitely a a cold step to it, a cold step through the moonlight. There's a, a cacophony of all of these uh, reverberating sounds working together rather than apart, rather than against each other, and that makes for a record that is, it's it's always uh, reverberating with sound. It's echoic. It's it's certainly has this epic resonance that bl blooms out of it as you listen to it. And this might come across as austerity. It might come across as uh, frustration, but really it's just kind of a pretty record and what i appreciated about it most was that it was it built such a momentum over time that i found it was very easy to pick up easy to get lost in and i think that was kind of the, the point is that they're they're giving you a world to get lost in and to just enjoy as it chimes along and eventually they do bring in keyboards that emphasize certain slow built melodies and that, again that does remind me of luster in the earlier years and whenever he's leaned a little bit more black metal but I would caution from giving it too much of a softness. I don't think this is a particularly soft record. There's a, a haunting, ghostly quality to a lot of the vocals. There are chanted chorales. There's a lot of extra interest in there that keep it um, sounding big and grand rather than soft and despondent. This is not a post-metal record at all. It's not a post-black record. It's an atmospheric black metal record in every sense. And I think that there's extra guitar interest kind of kept me, uh, stringing me along and enjoying what they were doing. So for my own taste, I think this is a strong record that is easy to get into that most people would enjoy. You might find it a bit boring because they, they don't tack on a thousand riffs, but this is probably not the genre for you if that's what you're looking for. Uh, for me, it was a strong listen, it was immersive, and it was just enjoyable in general. I haven't found a lot of black metal that I was really uh, wanted to sit down and listen to over and over lately, and I think this was a, a strong way to kind of get back into the, the in, my interest in the atmosphere of it. So, strong record worth checking out on September 6th when it releases, and uh, for now, you can read my review and listen to a few clips on the website. Music 